Hello, I'm Greg with Heart and Soul Farms NC. Today's project is going to be a mobile sheep shelter. Trying to find a sheep shelter for rotationary grazing without on the internet, there's a lot of, I would say, not so ideal ones that you can build that requires a four wheeler or a skid lift or a tractor to move. This is one you can just push by hand across the pastures. As long as your pastures aren't real rocky, if they are, you just spend a couple extra bucks and get bigger tires, easier to push. This type of mobile sheep shelter works great for us because we do rotational grazing on our pastures. On our website and in the comments, we'll have a link for the materials and instructions to complete this. One thing to remember when building it, the curvature of the wood. Look at your grains, all boards have a curvature to them. On the base of it, make sure they're curving in because the pressure is going to be pushing out. And on the top, you want it pushing up because the cattle panels are going to be pushing it down. All right, first off, we're going to lay our base down on an ideally level area. We're using a basketball court today. Set our 45s in the corners, get it nice and squared. Let's get to it. Okay, so now that you have your setup, we're going to end up doing toe joints on the corners first, and then we're going to square it up using the 45 supports to give it some rigidity. Let's get to it. All right, now that you have it all squared up, your corner supports are in. Next step is going to be adding the cattle panels. Now keep in mind, you can make this shorter by extending, I'm using eight foots because we're going to convert this over to a mobile chicken coop. So it's a little taller so we can walk in it. But if you want it lower to the ground, just make your sides 10 feet or 12 feet and you can lengthen the other way by going 12, 14 feet. Just me do measurements of 50 plus minus your supports because your cattle panels got to go inside. And you want them all the way to the ground. So next step, we're going to put them in, bend them over, and let's get to it. Next step in the process, we got to do our center line support. You're basically going to go halfway sideways uh, from your 4x4 four four, straight up to the highest point, get that measurement, subtract one and a half inches for your center support. Make sure when you're attaching it, you have the hoop up where the round goes up on that 2x4 because it's going to be putting pressure because as you can see, it's flimsy right now and we're going to stiffen that up. So we're going to have a Vertical coming up, horizontal this way, and then in the middle, we're going to do a 45-45 to help support it. Also, along it on the main support on the bottom, we're going to put two 2x4s, supports already cut, to help secure it where it won't wobble. Okay, as you can see, we got our center support in, got our 45s secured, a few barbed wire to hold it in on the top, and it stiffened it up quite a bit. Next up, we're going to be working on the wheels. Okay, now we're going to move on to the wheels. Make sure when you're putting wheels on, you go on the side that you attach the cattle panels on. Don't go on the open end. Because think of it, when you put a tarp on this, the wind's going to blow it. And if your wheels are here, this is going to push it across the pasture. Earlier, I went ahead and made sure I had a three and a half inch. These are 10 feet. These are only 50 inches. It gives me a few, with my eight inch cross member, gives me a little space where I can go center line in that two by four. Make sure you drill level. If you're not level, your axle and your wheel will end up being crooked and it will be harder to push and it will rub. 
Okay, in just over two hours you have a mobile sheep shelter. Remember this one's a little tall because we're going to make a mobile chicken coop out of it. One thing to remember is I put these on wrong and I'm going to have to flip them and didn't want to do it on camera. You want your long pieces to be on the outside and your short ones on the inside. Less chance of tearing up tarps. Granted, you're always going to have to replace a tarp every year or two, but this will just help prolong it if you got a long stretch on the outside rather than on the inside. So thank you for coming and watch us. Have a good day.